This build project is a training workstation. I have to start this off to say that I'm a real fan of training workstations. They give a student an opportunity to do something that feels a little more real world and that's what we're always trying to do is to get them closer to what they'd actually be doing in the field. This particular workstation was designed with finished trades in mind and uh, it should be built and finished out to the point that it now needs spackle, caulk, some drywall mud, sanding, priming, painting. All of those finished traits can happen here. We even worked it out to where there could be tiles placed on this floor platform towards the end. There's a lot of other things that can happen in this space, but the configuration services two students to do their own work on either side of this workstation. So this student here would be responsible for one, two, three wall surfaces, as well as he, they would have an inside corner, some outside corners, and some trim boards that they could work with. Also the ceiling structure or the roof structure has some trim boards as well. And there's a uh, horizontal surface created to mimic a ceiling on the inside of here as well. Uh, the floor platform for this workstation was built to mimic a pallet and we had a manual pallet jack we used to move these around. They're four feet by four feet and we had probably about 12 of them. We had limited space so it was no big deal to wheel that pallet jack in, lift these up, we could turn them around, stack them to one side if we wanted them, move them out to create more space on the day that they needed to be used. The students tend to own one side of this workstation and work through several different skills exercises. This is another view of this particular workstation. Here you see those trim boards. They weren't fancy trim boards, just simple one by fours. Could be fancier, of course. The vertical one sort of mimicking a casing. You have some baseboard down here and even your ceiling structure was banded with some trim work. That allowed the students to work on something other than just drywall. The rest of it was covered with drywall and we have outside corners of drywall and inside corners of drywall. And this helped the students with uh, drywall repair, taping and mudding, uh, all, all of these seams would get caulked. So a lot of opportunity in a very small space for students to work through different problems to solve. Here is a picture of the ceiling. The ceiling was not built in a normal way or like the rest of this workstation. There were flat two by fours that were laid across three of them. They were laid across a piece of half inch drywall and then the whole thing was banded with that one by four. That was all you needed to create that ceiling structure and keep this from being too heavy. Here's a picture of the wall configuration, how these walls come together. And these are the wall panels, two of the B panels connected to one of the A panel, which is basically your spine. All of this fastened to this floor platform that is built like a pallet. And that is pretty much the workstation. So I'm a real believer in training stations. Check out our resources. We have other versions of training stations. Great opportunity for students. I'll see you in the next one.